Recently, I made a video called Logging Back Into Old Star Stable. It was a video collection of Star Stable nostalgia edited in a way to think that we could go back into the old game and experience the past all over again. Many people loved it, and plenty of people commented on why they miss Old Star Stable. And the most popular thing I saw among players was that they miss Star Stable because, number one, our storyline was crafted with more care, number two, horses were not the top priority, content was. Number three, horses came out less, but they were designed better. Number four, areas in the game seemed to have more love put into them. Number five, content besides the storyline quests were also more common. Number six, filler content was more rare. Today it is more common. Number seven, Number seven, we had holidays to celebrate, like Christmas, Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day, and more, like April Fool's. Number eight, clothes and tack were less star coins, and overall it was easier to afford things in the game. Today, we have a huge inflation rate. Number nine, we had fun events like the fashion show or potato race. Number ten, we had to use a bus to get to the mall. Number 11, we had the Calters and a very great storyline taking place in Dino Valley. And number 12, just in general, the game felt like it was more cared for and being a player made you feel like you were part of the Star Stable family. We felt heard and today we now have plenty of bugs in the game that do not get fixed and if they do it takes a very long time. Plus, reporting bugs or missing horses can get you banned or blamed for your problem according to what I have seen from other players. Basically, the game is not like how it used to be, and a lot of people miss when things were canon and when the story felt better and when the game felt more alive, all of that stuff, you know? Many players at this point are quitting, have quit, or are on Star Coin Strike. It is clear that we want Old Star Stable back. It seems like before Star Stable had shareholders, we were more listened to. And although a company is supposed to make money, Star Stable gets called money hungry for a reason. We don't have things like we used to in this game, and instead feel pressured to buy more Star Coins and more horses. They even have hired the prices of clothes and tack in this game, and now they make tack that is only supposed to be for certain breeds. Some races or quests now don't even give us Gorvik shillings. They are making the game more expensive, but we get less content. And right now, Star Stable makes millions of dollars from what I can see from public data. They are not a broke indie company when it comes to the finances. They can afford to give us a good game like they have in the past. They even have more employees now too, so it's time to make them listen to us. And since a lot of players are quitting, we need to speak up. In the comment section, I have included a message you can copy and paste and send to Star Stable if you are quitting or are no longer purchasing anything from them. Edit where you have to. This message is not a threat or a warning. It is simply feedback from players who wish they had a better game. The message reads, Dear Star Stable, I am tired of this game no longer making me feel appreciated. The storyline has changed too much. There are too many horses and not enough main storyline quests. I can no longer be patient. This game is around 10 years old and we barely get enough content. We no longer even have fun holidays like Valentine's Day, Easter, Old Christmas, St. Patty's Day, the fashion show, and more. Clothes and tack in the game are now too expensive, and our Starcoin allowance is too low to even pay for it. And on top of that, you removed the Calters from Dino Valley. I am upset. Players are losing horses due to a bug, some players no longer get their Starcoin allowance, and all of my friends have quit because of how terrible this game has become. I loved this game, but I am given up. I am quitting and or I am no longer paying for Star Coins or Star Rider until you make your game better. I just cannot give money to a game that doesn't have what I want. The game just doesn't have the content that it used to. Again, edit the email where you see fit. 
because if enough people send this directly to Star Stable through contacting them or even posting it to their comment sections on social media, we might be able to get through to them. It might be a stretch, but we have to try to do something. A lot of players are worried about getting banned for speaking up, but Star Stable should not ban us for simply telling them what we want in-game. Again, this is feedback, not a threat. We want quests. We want holidays. We want a better gaming experience, and if they were to ban us for speaking up, that makes them look bad because it makes them look like they don't know how to take constructive criticism, something that would help the game. This is a revolution, and please only send this to Star Stable if you are quitting or no longer buying something from them like Star Coins or Star Rider, because if you leave without a reason, that doesn't help. This video is made to help encourage players to speak up and not feel afraid to say anything. Your feedback matters. And when you leave without a reason, Star Stable's not going to learn anything because you didn't tell them. But yeah, I will be sending my email because I just no longer feel the need to buy anything from this company. I have my lifetime Star Rider subscription, but I don't know. I just... I'm not even in the game. Like, I love the game, I still play it, but it's just not what I paid for originally. Like, I didn't pay for the changes that it made, and again, they have the right to change where they want to, but it's just not fair to me because I've been paying so much for their stuff in-game. It's such an expensive game. Like, I've paid a lot for horses over the years, and I stopped buying Star Coins back in November, but like, still, it's just a lot. And again, I'm not even in the game because I'm non-binary and I can't even play as a non-binary character, which I would love to play as a boy, actually, because that's how I feel and I can't even be seen in the game. So it just makes no sense to me. Like, why would I support a company that I can't even play as myself in? I don't like the changes the game has made. I don't like the route it's taking. I just don't like it, man. And, like, if they're upset at me for feeling that way, that's not my fault. Like, you're the one who changed the game, not me. If you aren't really aware of the issues in the game, then you could watch my documentary on all of the issues. But basically, yeah, it's just crazy how this has happened, I guess. It's just wild. And... Yeah, I just, I'm no longer buying Star Coins because I don't want to support the company anymore. I don't have to buy anything else from them because why would I? If I could support Old Star Stable, I would, but Old Star Stable is no longer alive, so we can't do that. So, yeah. Sad stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!